Hey, my name's Marnie Alton. I'm the founder of Embody by Marnie Alton, and I'm super grateful that you joined me here today for Well and Good's Trainer of the Month Club. Today, we're gonna get sweaty. We'll flow like dancers and bring the heat. You don't need any equipment at all, just a mat, some place that you can feel cushioned. There will be some impact options, so if you prefer to work in shoes, feel free to do so. I work barefoot, it's your choice. Let's go. Just start to shake out from side to side, relaxing your neck and jaw. If you feel like you've been holding yourself back, holding your voice back, holding on to tension, maybe a little flutter breath. <laughs> Let your shoulders melt away from your ears. Inhale your arms up to oxygenate. Exhale back down. Two more times. One more time. A big breath through your nose to the base of your belly. Turn your feet parallel now and create a vibration, a run. So we often start with this sequence, with this series, to activate the heat from within, to warm up all of the major muscles, to create flexibility in the joints that we'll be utilizing to make blood flow, it counts. Two, three, four, a little quicker, five, six, seven, bring your legs tight together, bring your arms up, exhale your hands down. Bring your right foot forward, maintain squared hips, flex your foot and point one more time. Keep opening in your chest, circle your foot either direction, bring your leg down, other side forward, flex and point. Feel your toes pull apart, circle one way, circle the other way. Bring your legs down, inhale your arms skyward. Drop your shoulders, hold to your right wrist. Bend to the side, tuck your hip under. Take another breath, allow yourself to be lifted in through the side bend. So the first thing is to pull out of your hip socket and then allow for a gentle sway. Resquare your hips and breathe between your ribs. Bring both arms back. This stretch is a really practical and important stretch, especially with all the sitting we do. Option, you can choose to either keep your hands overhead or for a little more support, bring your hands to your low back. Press your hips forward, take another breath. On your exhale, lift by pulling navel to spine and counter stretch forward, bend one knee and then the other. Feel the awakening on the outside of your hips. Inhale your back flat. If you can't get your back flat with your feet on the ground, or your hands on the ground rather, bring your hands a little higher. And then exhale, surrender into this forward fold. Tuck your chin, round up. Bring your arms overhead. Inhale deeply. As you exhale, drop and lift. Rolling hangovers, it's down. You have the option to add a little jump. Two more times. Really come high off the floor. One more. Now bring your arms out to second position. I'm just turning from side to side to give you a visual. Bring your right toenails to the floor, rolling over the metatarsals of your foot and bring your right arm up, other side. So warming up your feet, the metatarsals are the little bones in the top of your feet. We want to allow for them to stretch, expand and have blood flow between them, port a bra. Bring your arms back out, right leg out, pull your heels in, two of eight. Pulling up and out of your standing hip, as you maintain that beautiful dancer's posture. Reset, other leg, eight times one. Both knees are straight, so you're activating up through your inner thigh. Six, seven, turn your feet parallel, bring your arms overhead, lift your heels up. Breathe out as your heels lift, eight more. Two, can you harmonize your motion and your breath? Six, seven, pause. If ever you have shoulder sensitivity in this, this position arms, you can bring your hands down to prayer. Press your feet to the floor, eight counts, one, two. Feel that drawing in and up of your abdominal muscles. Step your feet out, push your hips down and up. So the first priority is to move from your hips. So not from a rounding of your back. So your heart stays wide open and your knees pull back behind your toes. You can keep your hands on your thighs if that's gonna help you maintain that. Or you have the option to add that sweep. One of four, two, you on, dance it out. Now there, right knee up, legs together, left. Once you've got that in your body, add a little more pop to that lift, one of four. Two, knee comes higher, three. Right hand punches forward for four, two. Bring your hip with you, switch, four, two. One more time, right side forward, four. Let yourself pop 
all the way around to the opposite profile. One jack at center, one right punch, left punch, repeat that. Straight jumping jacks, out, out. Really allow yourself to get big and snap back in. Eight more, two, four, six. Now drop, then we're gonna start at the beginning. Down, up. Exhale on the up, four times. One, two, then the knee lift combo starting right. Right, one and four, three. Right hand punches forward for four. Switch. Straight jacks out, punch and change. And jack out. Let your heels drop down so you're not solely on the balls of your feet. Eight more, this is no impact option if you're finding that's better, or you can press forward if your shoulders are sensitive. Drop, lift, two of eight. This is your last round. Four more, your body understands it, so let your spirit drive it. Low, high, right knee, up. One of four, two of four, pop. You're at three, right hip forward four. Now switch to the left. Four, strong arms, one jack, one right punch. One of four, punch with not only your arm, but your breath and your hip. Straight jacks, or your modified jacks. Your choice, last eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, land. Hinge again from your hips, pull your waistline in, pull your stomach up. Bring your hands forward to counterbalance. Pull your hips back. Grip the floor with your feet. So either straight to the earth with bare feet or through the soles of your shoes. Opening your chest, add a little bounce. Option arms back, forward. Now you are awakening some of the strongest muscles in your body. You have the option to change it to single arm rows. If there's any sensitivity in your back, be mindful you're not twisting. So the arms are extending, but your torso and hips are forward facing and braced. Stay there or jump 16 times. You're at three. So jumps are just an option. You can choose to stay in the row, last eight, one, or move to those larger range flushes. Six, seven, one more. Open out wide, bend your right knee. Down, up, breathe in and out. Now either hands to prayer and open. Again, if you tend to collect a lot of tension in your neck and shoulders, the trapezius muscles, which are right here, this is a cool option. Another one is to change to windmill arms. Option out of step in. So recognize here, this left knee never bends. It's just the right leg. Catching, tapping. And up, one more option. Turned out passe, lift. Now add your breath, dance with your breath. Eight more times, inhale, exhale. You're at two. Can you push that right hip behind you more? Not to the side, but back. Two more than a hold. We're at three, hold. You're in turn out, extend your leg forward, sweep it back and forward. So reach, lengthening your hip, really maintaining the connection to your balancing muscles, your gluteal muscles. Keep your standing knee soft. One more. Now turn your knee forward, extend, bend. Two of eight, you're at three. Stretch from your hip, lower your leg significantly if there's any tension collecting in your hip flexor. Two more, seven. Then from there, bend your leg back, reach. Find this balance. You can choose to find a stable surface and use it to help you play with this position. Bend your back knee, maintain that parallel so your knee is not turned out. It's facing the floor. Little lifts up, up of your back right knee. Eight more times, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, straighten your leg, touch the earth, lift your chest and bend both knees 90 degrees. Adjust your hips to squared, pull your waistline in, pull your knees towards each other eight times. We're just double checking that we've realigned in this fourth position parallel. Tuck your hips eight, two, really elongating the connection of your quad into your hip. Circle round through your hips for four. Bring your arms back up if that's right for your shoulders. Three. Now, plie. Down, straighten both knees. Down. If you find that you're really wiggly, walk your feet a little bit wider. So instead of being on a tightrope where the feet are directly behind each other, you want to be on a train track with this front hip pulling back. Option, step forward. And what I mean by the front hip pulling back, it's this front left leg and it stays drawn back. So your knee is always behind your front toes. Option, pull your leg up. Option, turn it to a jump eight times. Recognize that these options are not beginning or advanced for more. They are options. Every day you get to choice. Every day you get to choose. Every breath you get to choose, hold. Lift your front heel, little pulses down. Reclaim the energy you found with the drawing in of your thighs, so you're activated from your inner leg, the tuck, feeling your stomach, last 16, one, two. So you'll feel a fire elongating your back leg in this fourth position modern parallel, eight, two. You're at four, that's six. Step together, leg out, in. Now just as we did, in those previous plies, the bend is from your hip bones, not your back, so your back is straight. Option, make this bigger, or turn it to a jump four times. One, two, do you notice that beautiful opening on that descent, land low row, 16 times. You also have an option to bring your hands to prayer. Eight more, we have one more set of jumps that deep strength, lifting you from the earth. Option now, last 16 jumps. Two, three, you're at five, seven, eight more, one. Your muscles need to break down to rebuild. Give them permission to do so. One more, open wide. Left knee bends, straighten, bend, straighten. Now, windmill arms, or mindful again, Prayer, stretch. Those are your options. And now you can option to step in. So you're in your home probably, right? Your sacred space, option passe. So I want you to feel into your body. Have a conversation with it. Eight more times. One, we don't seek to numb. Two, we don't seek to dissociate. Form where we want to feel and then accomplish and then grow. One more. Hold. Pause. Bring your leg out. Lift it up and pull it back. And lift it up and pull it back. Four more counts. Once again, this can be done near something stable like a counter if that's better for you. Bring your leg up. Rotate to parallel. So parallel is like the number 11. Extend, bend, two of eight. Lower leg. If it's at all activating your hip, because we're working this middle quad, which inserts into that hip, two more. So you can work the quad around the knee without the hip. Pause there, bring your leg back. Now bend your back knee, reestablish that alignment. Little lifts up, up. So you're constantly being brought into the present. Eight more counts. One, that's the cool thing about balances. Our body innately unconsciously connects to what's around us in the now. Straighten, find the floor. Parallel drop, lift your arms. Drop your shoulder slice in eight times. So this medial contraction towards your middle line. Then circle around, circle around. Circle around. Now tuck, add your elbows. Four more, five, six, seven. Pause, return your arms overhead, maintaining the connection to your abdominals. 
lower down, up. So this back glute, it's working in harmony with your front hip. So it squeezes to maintain this alignment. Option, add your step. Option, little rock step. Where you're just bringing the body weight from front to back. Option, pull your knee up. The higher your knee goes, if it's right for you today, the more you'll stretch your standing hip. Option to jump, one of eight. Two, three. I want you to celebrate where you're at. Five, and then explore the precipice. What's just over that edge? Safely, consciously. Hold. Then from there, step. Pause. Both legs go out. Pull your waistline in, just bounce. 16 times. Exhale. You're at six, seven. Option row, eight, two, three. Little lower, five, six, seven. Big drop. Down, right knee back, left. So we're slowly bringing your heart rate a little bit lower to create that sustainable interval of fat burning. But the depth that you move is gonna keep the burn and sculpt. One of four. We're at two. That's three. Stand tall, arms up, circle around. Two of four. We're at three. And circle the other way. Circle around. All of these organs in your abdomen, reducing inflammation, bringing them to wellness. Arms out, stretch. Really reach through your right hand, five. Other side, eight. Press. Notice how your shoulder presses down, and the movement happens from your stomach. Palms up, press back. Back, 16 times, five. Exhale every time your arms pull back. Eight more. Open your heart brighter. We're at five, six, seven. Now from their arms up and reach forward. Lift your heels, walk forward four steps. I'm just gonna turn so you can see me, but just walk forward into a plank. So you're on releve. These are the four steps. And now today, we're gonna uniquely do a heart to heart plank. So the heart shape, of your hands, touching your index finger and thumb with spread fingers, aligns under the heart in your chest. Tuck your hips, drop them in line with your shoulders. And now canopy your back open. Keep your feet parallel and hip width. Modify on your knees, or do this position on an incline at a wall or a counter. Then from there, bend your elbows as you breathe in. Down. And dance yourself back up. One of four. Press through your pinky finger a little more. Fun fact, it's actually the strongest digit in your body. So it provokes a really kinetic chain of power. Pause there, bring your legs in together. Feel your inner thighs, step your right foot up. Hold there for a sec. Look and make sure that your toe is in front of your knee. And then from there, step back, other side. So that's how we protect the knee and get the depth of sculpt in through your leg and glute. And then back, on the beat it goes, step. Back. Here's another option. Both feet step in, jump up, roll back down. Now, this can also be done with no impact at all, jumping in, or you can continue to dance one foot up and then the other. Go into your flow now. Last 16 counts here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last eight, then land in your plank. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna get one more in. And then from there, land, hold. Option, little jacks, out, in. Drop your hips, use those beautiful pinkies. Last 16 counts. Last eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pause. Pull back. Then from here, drop to your tailbone. Come on down to your low back. Bring your hands behind your head. So you're cradling your neck. Look up to the ceiling. Bring your legs up. Relax your low back, but anchor it towards the earth. Lower your right leg down. Exhale, lift it back up. Left leg down. Exhale up. Keep your feet pointed energetically. Breathe in as you descend, filling your torso. Exhale on the back up. Now you have the option 
to bring a support system behind your head, or you can lay down flat on the ground. If at any point you feel that the strain is going into your neck or shoulders, rather than being able to focus on your abdominal muscles and contraction there within, you have the option to lower both legs down and lift both back up. Now, whether you're doing alternating legs or both at the same time, see if you can lace in a tiny lift just from the base of your tailbone up with an exhale, thinking of activating and gripping in your low stomach so there's breath, motion, a small rock, four more like that. That's one, slowly down, continually drawing your rib bones to hip bones, that's two. Relax once more, in and around your jaw, and pause here. Flex your feet, extend and bend. Now lace once more as you extend with flexed feet on an exhale, that small lift of the very end of your tail, eight times one. So this is sort of like bar à la terre. So you're doing these plie series, but reaching up against gravity towards the sky. Hold there, point your feet and go over under. 16 counts, you're at four. Either maintaining this 90 degree angle with your low body or go to a 45. Four more counts, five, six, Pull both knees in parallel. Pull in, wrap your forehead to knees, stretch. Exhale, so you're thinking of your abdominal muscles like an accordion. Contract and shorten, and then extend. Two more. Feeling how that massages your inner organs. Hold here, rock up. Find the balance on your tailbone. Roll your waist in, elbows out to the side. Rotate your knees once more into a diamond. Bring your arms out to second, lift them up to fifth. Come back out to either side and pull forward. Now you have the option then to reset, holding on behind your hamstrings, rather than just moving into this first. So the option would be out and lift up, pull back to second and reclaim to reset. Another option is to hold on the whole time, which is gonna give you a little more bicep work and focus on breath. Your choice, one more through the dance. And then back out, hold here. Bring your arms up and down, one of eight. As you lift, you exhale once more, and you bring your arms just forward of your gaze, so they're not pulled back by your ears. They're just in your peripheral. One more, now bring your hands back behind you, pull your knees in, in and out. Draw your inner thighs towards each other. Last 16 counts, one. You're at two, that's three. Breathe out as you pull your legs in, keep your elbows bent. Last eight to finish, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, lay down. Allow yourself to be supported by the floor, by the earth beneath it. Bring your right leg up, flex your foot. Rotate from your hip, bend your knee. Draw your other leg in, flex your foot. Either choose to stay in a floating figure four or twist your legs all the way together. You can come back to these workouts. You can see where you're at on any given day and you can feel your progress as you playfully try different options, different modifications, experiment. Explore, unwind, other leg up, and rotate. So the rotation is happening from that ball and socket joint in your hip. And then the stretch is occurring all around the complex system of hip and gluteal muscles on your outer body. With your feet flexed, you continue to support your knees. So the stretch can happen in the spaces that typically get tight, which are your hips and your low back. Option, bind your legs all the way together. If you do choose this bind, this twist, make sure that the end of your tail is still connected to the floor as you pull your shin bones up. And then wherever you feel resistance, just bring breath like a hug and release. Pull your knees in, rock up to a seated posture. Send your legs into a wide dance or straddle posture. Flex your feet, lift your right arm up, and then side bend. Check that your hand is up, your eyes are up, your throat is open, your heart is rotated skyward. 
take a breath. Open hands, receive. What good is raining down on you? Catch it. And exhale, lift. Other arm up and over. Stretches teach us the power of surrender. How exhales make room. Take another breath. And then you exhale. Bring yourself skyward, lengthening between ribs and hips. Cross your legs. Reach your hands out. Turn your palms up one more time. And as you inhale, energy lifts up. Unify your palms, both sides of your body coming together as one. Bring the prayer down. Open your hands to your heart. Feel the rise and fall of your chest. Just a quick scan through your body. Maybe wiggle your toes, breathe down towards them. Feel breath in your eyelashes. Feel softness through your neck muscles. Feel an awakening in your abdomen and muscles in the back. And in this moment, in this now, let's remember that challenges are what makes life interesting. And overcoming them, well, that, that's what makes life meaningful. So as you open your arms, allow yourself to be available to challenges. Expand towards them, heart first, big breath. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. Feel how the earth supports you and the strength from within gives you power to overcome them. And open your eyes to the sun and be in the light. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you want more workouts with me, you can find me at Embody Online. And don't forget to subscribe to Well and Good. We'll see you again soon.